Good day folks, welcome back to another time video. Um, got a neat little mayfly pattern for you here. Uh, this one's called the Copper Betis. And uh, I'm starting off with a size uh, 12 Diachi 1120. And I've got some rusty brown tying thread. And I'm just going to get my thread run down to kind of the back edge of the bend here <clears throat> and first material we're going to tie in will be four or five pheasant tail fibers and get these secured right on top try to have those centered if you when you tie it in if you tie it in closer to you then your uh, thread torque will kind of carry it to the center. And we'll come up to just about so your thread's hanging right by the hook point there. It's a good way to uh, kind of keep things uh, measured. And now I've got some small copper wire. I'll just tie in down the near side of the hook into the bend. Come back up, and I've got some Flashaboo. This is kind of a copper brown, um, number 6986. <clears throat> and I'm just going to double this over my thread, slide it down, capture that in, and we'll tie that in all the way down to the back. Now I'm going to just spin my bobbin counterclockwise. That'll just flatten it out. And I'm just going to build a bit of a taper here. That looks pretty good there. So first material we'll wrap will be the flashaboo gonna do our best to cover those thread wraps all the way up just tie that off like so snip out the excess now I'm going to grab these pheasant tails and when you lay them down like this they'll want to split but we want to keep them right on top of the hook so if you just twist it don't need to twist it much maybe half a half a turn or so then you'll be able to capture that get it nice and secure and then you'll see if it's leaning on the camera side a little bit that's okay but that's pretty much center when you wrap your wire, which we're just going to go opposite of everything else, it'll tend to pull it a little bit to this way. So I'll just wrap this. Nice open turns. Just like so. Come in. Make sure that wire's tied off. Nice and secure. Helicopter right out of here. And then we can get rid of the pheasant tail. So now I'm just going to wrap back on this a little bit. Like so. Now I've got some, this is uh, some scud back from Wapsie. It's uh, brown stone. If you have anything that's brown or similar color will work. I'm just going to capture that right on top. Make sure it's nice and centered. Pull it forward, that's pretty close. Wrap back just a little bit more. Maybe even more than that. So again, you want to kind of have your wing case starting where that hook point is. So wrap back there, that looks good. Now I've got some copper ice dub. 
and I'm just going to take a wee bit of this stuff and dub a little short noodle here. <clears throat> and I'm only going to build half the thorax to start. So we'll just get that wrapped kind of about like so. Actually, I might add a little bit more there. good there. Now I'll go back to the pheasant tail and same thing we want uh, four or five fibers for each side so I'm just going to grab these pinch them alongside and just get them tied in like that don't worry too much about the length right now um, I'll do that after but don't trim that out yet <clears throat> And we'll do the far side here, same thing, come in, pinch that, cinch that down and kind of wiggle them into place. <clears throat> if they move around on you a little bit, that's okay. Make sure you get them where you want them. And then you can snug down on your wraps. <clears throat> And come in here, just nip that out of there, go back to the copper ice dub, and do a noodle about the same size as the first one. We'll come in here, grab these and just pull those legs as you wrap over top of them. And that'll allow them to kind of stay in the spot where you want. Now we'll just take our wing case and pull that over. Throw a couple wraps over top, a couple in front. Give this a bit of a stretch, not too much. Nip it out of there. And we'll just clean this little head up here. Come in with the whip finisher. four or five turns there, trim out our excess thread, get rid of any extra flashaboo, this is more for me than it is the fish, <clears throat> that looks good, okay, now we can come in with our UV resin. It's got some Deer Creek Diamond Fine here. I'm just going to coat the wing case and just dab a little bit back onto that pheasant tail there. Kind of let that settle into place. Take a bodkin and move it around a little bit until you get it looking the way you like. That looks good. Give her a zap. <clears throat> and that's about all there is to it. So super cool looking fly. Not a very difficult tie at all. And it is a fish catcher. Done really well with this pattern. So there it is. That is the copper betis. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, give it a tie, fish it, let us know how it works for you, and uh, I know it'll work well. Thanks very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And until the next one, cheers and tight lines.